on this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Good morning, happy peoples. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm going to take you to Bethel, Alaska. Yay! <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a while since I've taken you guys to remote parts of Alaska. Well, Bethel is kind of, if you looked at it as a city, Bethel would be like considered pretty small, but if you compare it to a village, like an Alaskan village, it's one of the main hubs, guys. It feeds a lot of other villages uh, throughout Alaska. I think uh, even the Alaska State Troopers have a pretty heavy presence there because it's kind of their their network. And anyway, so I haven't been there in a little while, but I've got a quick work trip there. Bring you guys with me. We'll see how Bethel's looking these days. So let's go get on a plane. Bethel. It is, well, it's not too bad. It's about 10 above zero. You know, heat waves. So I'm going to go find my ride, get my bags, and let's go check in with kids and see how they're doing. All right, guys. We're going to find David. Yeah, they, they have spotted him all day. All right. Let me see. Hold on. We got to show him what he's doing. He's riding a toy. Jesus wants us to share what we have with boys and girls who might not have as much as we do. Pick a few toys to give to children who need them. Ooh. And don't forget to do good and to share with you. Have with others because giving and sharing the things that mean the most to you makes God very happy. Hebrews 13, 16. Make other little children, uh, boys, little boys and little girls happy with some toys that you might not need anymore. And maybe think about others and sharing. And before yourself. That's right. I so is there any toy that you guys want to go get? Sure. Ready? Sure. Yeah. Go pick out a toy to give away. Go. I am going to give away my favorite gun and it actually shoots away this little Lego horse, Dwight, and I'm guessing it's going to be making some little girl happy. I'm going to give this little Lego horse, it's really cute and pretty. This, it's very beautiful. I like the flower on it, it's very beautiful, as you can see. There's a little diamond right there. So yeah, I think this will make some little girl very happy, like me.
Welcome to my office. I'm more comfortable in a mechanical room than I am in any office because I just feel at home, at ease. It's like you just kind of figure a couple things out and you're like, okay, I got it. You got this booster pump working now, which is a plus and a blessing. Had some overloads weren't set right, long story short. Whenever they would run more than about two faucets, they would have to like turn the breaker off and on to reset it. Now they have water, which is a pretty important thing here because you can't just go out and dig around for water in Bethel. I've got to work on some heating controls here. There's some three-way valves that need to go here and here, but that shouldn't be too bad. I'm at least going to figure out what needs to be done uh, so we can have one of our guys go knock it out. They've already got a tech mark controller. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I had to summarize this trip it's to uh, they've got some sewage tanks that are in the ground that have got electric elements that I got to find a way to power up uh, we've actually got some three-way valves here to be able to choke down the um, uh, the heating lines guys and this is a very weird problem this place was built with like 12 inch foam on the outside which is just way too insulated so so, which is an odd problem here for Alaska, but too insulated. So we've got three-way valves to be able to choke the, that temperature down so they're not overheating. So when the thermostat turns on, by the time it turns off, it just overheats because it's so insulated. So it's pretty cool uh, to be able to find different problems. I love being able to come and find different problems because that means you gotta use your brain to come up with different solutions. And it's just fun. I don't know, I like having a little bit of a challenge. What's going on here? So at least their water stuff is fixed. Now we just gotta uh, dial in their heating lines so they're under control, so a little more efficient. And they don't overheat, but they still don't use too much fuel. That's what I got going on, so I'm gonna go find a little something to eat. I think they have a subway here in Bethel. I will probably uh, partake in uh, the subway. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna Literally eat Literally eight, 13 at night, we are sitting down eating dinner. I'm back. Oh, she's back! She's back, she's here for like two days. Two days now. Two days, guys. You get to see her beautiful smiling face around here. Bert has been gone. You guys have already seen him actually over in, in Bethel and he is working hard over there. He actually filmed something kind of special over there. Um, but he's been gone all day and that's been kind of sad. What'd you make? make Mom some. made dinner tonight. What'd you make, Mom? Chicken and rice casserole. Chicken and rice casserole. Yeah. Turned out pretty good. We had some cream cheese corn with it. So this is what I did for the centerpiece. I just got some greenery. Like there's four different pieces of greenery and then um, these short little guys that I just kind of intermixed with it to kind of make it all blend. A couple candles and then a little cake plate that I got. Check it out. Subway and Bethel. Making dinner. Chicken bacon ranch was just the sandwich, $12.92. I think it's about the same as it is in North Pole, or not much different. So, this is a good value if you want to get a, an expensive place to eat in Bethel. I'm going to partake and I'm going to send you back to my wife and the kids, see how they're doing. Hopefully, they're doing great. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not dancing. Okay. So, Bert, Ashley, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, there's mom. Okay. And here, here, you want to do a tower? No, no, let's, let's do a tower. Let's not, let's not say we did, okay? Her is gone, so we're gonna go. We have to go do this monstrosity ness. That's a lot of can trash. You see it through yeah. the window? Yeah, yeah you can see it. The kids. Yeah, the kids are in bed. So we're gonna go try. I've done this by myself before, and it's pretty brutal, so Ashley offered to help. Yep. The bomb diggity. Bomb diggity, because it's a lot of work, and it's snowy, and it's cold. cold. Okay, so let's let's load up the trash. We got this, babe. I hope I don't die of cardiac arrest. Crookson. There you go. Oh dear. Lord. I'll pray for you while you're away. They're loading up the trash. Beast women they are. <laughs> Oh, there 
it is. Okay. Got it. You got it. Yeah, there's our there's our encourager over there. <laughs> She's pom pom. Do you hear some pom poms? <laughs> oh jeez, that was a lot of snow. That was a lot of snow in the boot. Oh ho ho, in the boot. <laughs> Trash. Teamwork. All right, got it. What time is it right now? 9:30. Like <laughs> She's waiting up for us. She's peeking out the window. Making sure we don't get mauled. Like, oh. Ooh, we did it! I think we're gonna call this one a night. I know it's not very much footage on my end here, but like I said, today was crazy and I was just plain exhausted. So I hope you enjoyed spending the day with Bert and Bethel. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's close this one out. Well, that was amazing. I'm pretty sure, guys, this is the farthest north subway. I am pretty doggone sure. I have not seen any other uh, fast food restaurants. This might be the farthest north fast food restaurant, actually. <laughs>